Good morning, Pastor Jerry here from Crossroads Church, Cleburne. It is Friday morning and it is time for our daily Bible reading. Today's Bible reading is what I'm preaching on this Sunday and it's Matthew 13. I'm excited to do Matthew 13. There's a lot, there's a transition that happened here. Jesus had withheld the kingdom from the, uh, from the Jewish leaders because they denied him and actually denied the works of, of the Holy Spirit. They attributed the works of the Holy Spirit to Satan and so Jesus had delayed the kingdom. So Matthew 13 in 12 and 13 and on, we see that transition that Jesus does from bringing in, showing evidence of the kingdom and bringing the kingdom in to now teaching in parables. And, and the parables have a twofold purpose. They reveal the mysteries of the kingdom. A parable in Greek, parabole, is coming alongside to uh, pro proclaim truth and or proclaiming truth. So a parable is something that goes along with what, what the people would know to explain something that they don't know yet. And it proclaims usually one main truth throughout it. So you don't get really into the details of it. You just look for the, the truth that's trying to be conveyed here. And what Jesus does in Matthew 13, he gives seven parables and they're all about the kingdom. They're all about the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. And he's trying to explain what the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven is like and that he's going to continue to do that until finally in Matthew 28 he tells us that all authority on heaven and earth have been given unto him so we're to go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit and so that's the culmination he's preparing us for what is to come instead of, instead of bringing in the kingdom of God at that time or actually after he would have died on the cross so Let's go over to uh, Matthew 13. Hopefully you've had enough time to open your Bibles, or you can follow along on the screen or simply sit back and listen as I read to you Matthew 13. The parable of the sower. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea, and great crowds gathered about him so that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. Then the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to the one who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. Indeed, in their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled that says, You will indeed hear, but never understand. You will indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's hearts has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear. And their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. This is what was sown along the path. As for what was sown on the rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while, and when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. 
He put another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared also, and the servants of the master of the house came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have weeds? And he said to them, An enemy has done this. So the servant said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he said, No, lest in gathering the weeds you root up the wheat along with them. Let them both grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will tell the reapers, Gather the weeds first, bind them in bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn. He put another parable before, before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is larger than all the garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour till it was all leavened. All these things Jesus said to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fill what was spoken by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. Then he left the crowds and went into the house, and his disciples came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, and the good seed is the sons of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers, and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears, let him hear. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who, on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good into containers, but threw the bad away. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all these things? They said to him, Yes. And he said to them, Therefore every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. And when Jesus had finished these parables, he went away from them, from there. And coming to his hometown, he taught them in their synagogue, so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? Are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? Are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own household. And he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. That is Matthew 13. It's a great chapter. There is a ton going on there. So I hope that you join me uh, this Sunday for Bible study. It'll be on Facebook Live at 9 o'clock Sunday morning, Central Time. And also, I'll be preaching on this during a regular service at 1030 on Sunday. So I pray that you join us. I pray that you have a great day. Remember that I love you. I'm praying for you every day. Take courage in this. Have faith in God, faith in all that's going on, that God will work everything together for the good, for those that love him and are called according to his purpose. And pray that you have a blessed day until we're together again.